What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm James and today we will not be working on one of the typical salvage rebuild projects as you normally see on the channel. However, I'm going to show you guys a neat little trick of how to tackle a really tough task. And that tough task is removing a broken bolt from a cylinder head or an engine block. Before we get to that, if you guys are new to the channel, then consider clicking the subscribe button so you can follow along with everything that goes on here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be working on this 2008 Honda Civic. Now this is a one owner car, and I have known personally of this car since it had roughly around 15,000 miles on it. And this has been a really good car. It really has just had basic maintenance, but now it has a major problem. It has a bolt broke off in the block. Now looking underneath the hood here, you can see I've already started doing some work. I have the alternator removed, I have our water pump pulley removed, our belt, and we have the belt tensioner removed. And on these 2006 to 2011 Honda Civics, they have a pivot bolt for the belt tensioner, which can and will break off into the block. And that is exactly what has happened to this car. And that's why we have it tore down. So here's the belt tensioner assembly. And here is our broken bolt. It doesn't look good at all. And if you see, it goes in like so. And take a look. You can see how much of the thread is actually broke off. It's broke off that far into the block. And right there in the center of your screen, you can see there is our broken off bolt into the block. So that's not a very good spot to have a broken bolt. There's really not a lot of room there. There's not enough room to get any kind of tools like a drill or an easy out in there. And that's even if you could get the easy out to work because I don't know about you guys, I've never really had too much luck with an easy out. But since this is an aluminum block and it's a steel bolt, I have a solution and that is welding a nut onto the stud and turning it out of the block. Now, just because we're working on a Honda today doesn't mean that this technique only applies to Hondas. You can use this technique on pretty much anything that has an aluminum head or an aluminum block. And I have done this technique plenty of times on the GM LS series V8 engines. Those exhaust manifold bolts break off and they're tough to get out, but this technique works great. Obviously, you're going to need a welder and I have my Lincoln MIG welder set up ready to go and you want to make sure you disconnect your battery terminal on the car when you're welding because you don't want to take any kind of risk of damaging any of the electronic components on the car since it's pretty tight and hard to get a camera into the area where the broken off bolt is i'm going to show you using the other piece of the bolt now just imagine this is countersunk about two millimeters you're going to build this up with weld just enough to where you can take a nut as you see here and you're going to slide it over top and then you're going to weld it up solid around here on the top and then once you do that you're going to make it one piece and you can turn the nut and it'll extract your broken bolt easy as that now the only thing left to do is to fire up the welder and let's get that broken bolt extracted Now you just take the correct socket and remove the broken off bolt. And there you have it. There's our broken piece extracted from the block. Look, it's my wild neighbor. <laughs> you were gonna take it. Yeah, oh, it's going on YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you some brown eye. <laughs> you don't want to be a YouTube star? Nah, not for, we'll think of something bad or something good. Can you believe that Honda has a technical service bulletin that calls for an engine replacement because of this right here? It's the stud for the belt tensioner. It huh. broke off in the block. This is the second time it's happened. So Honda actually has a technical service bulletin on this problem and it does come up and you won't believe it, but they actually call for an engine block replacement just because 
this bolt breaks off in the block. And as you can see, that was a nice, easy trick to getting that bolt out. And we've just saved ourselves from having to replace an engine. It kind of makes you wonder how many of these Honda Civics have had the engine changed or went to the junkyard just because of this little tiny piece right here broke off into the block. Now hopefully this little trick can help you on whatever your project may be, whether it be your Honda Civic or an LS engine or anything else for that matter that you need to remove a broken stud from anything that is aluminum. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then consider clicking the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll get the notifications. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram.